Welcome back to Cape Chronicle. I'm Alex Gasser. Jim Walk Watkins joins us today to discuss the CERT program and how we can stay safe and disaster ready. Jim, welcome to the show. Thank you. So tell us about CERT and what CERT stands for and... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, CERT is Community Emergency Response Team Training, um, but it's really misnomer because it's more of a resource. It's people helping people in time of need. Okay. Um, there's, it's a 24-hour class, taking it in general. Uh, home preparedness first. Uh, we need to be able to take care of ourselves at home, and by doing that, we cut down on the necessary resources that are tied up in other areas. Um, taking care of yourself is the first thing that we need to do because all disasters start local and then local. So, um, but again, the class is 24 hours. We are, our next class starts March 1st, all the Mondays in uh, March, uh, April 1st. We skip the eclipse day, April 8th, <laughs> because other people will be doing things and then we'll finish our class on April 11th. It is at the Cape County Public Health Center um, from noon, from 8 a.m. to noon each Monday. Uh, if you want to sign up, the 339-6799 is our CERT office phone. I'll okay. be glad to do that. Or online, uh, Jim Watkins, CERT at yahoo.com. Uh, there is a person, I'm just an instructor, Ben Whited has been hired to be the coordinator for Region E, uh, but I'm just filling in for him today. So, uh, March 6th is the Missouri uh, statewide tornado drill. So that's getting okay. something ready that we think about. But CERT is an all hazard uh, training. It's okay. just not tornadoes, earthquakes, it's anything and everything. Unfortunately, I like to say winter is over with. But <laughs> I think probably, we're all right there, yeah. yeah <laughs> but probably not. So we never know when the next ice storm or whatever. And that's where preparedness for everything and anything uh, needs to be happening in our, in our own communities. So. so I know, Jim, I've met you before at yes. different events, and you always bring by your bucket that yes. has all the things that you need. Tell me what are some of the things that you have in your preparedness bucket? Uh, well, <clears throat> start with a plan, okay? So you have uh, items that you think that you will need. First aid kit, absolutely, because, again, those things are never known. Um, I usually wear eyeglasses, so I have an extra pair because I'm basically blind without them. Uh, at least I've had surgery now that's a little better. But anyway, um, anything that you need to survive, we don't have water, but again, water is necessary. That's something every home should have, a plan for water to be able to, if, in case electricity doesn't work or water, Pipes break and we can't have city water. So those are things that we need to have. Um, practice that plan. Talk to your family about uh, disasters. My, but my disaster bucket, first aid kit, flashlights, extra batteries, uh, weather radio so that I can catch on what's going on, uh, emergency alert system. Um, oh, just all <laughs> kinds of things. But it, it fits in a five-gallon bucket that actually can become a latrine if it's if that's needed also. Gotcha. So, but uh, yeah, I have fun with the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> and how often do you go back through and, and check that or, or go over that plan with your family? Uh, we should do it every year, okay. minimum. But uh, I do about every six months. Uh, again, at home, I have at least six months of water stored. Uh, you never know, um, but again, and it's rotated out. Uh, I don't dump it all at the same time because it's staggered when I fill it. Um, but again, I'm not a doomsday prepper. <laughs> I don't have 50 pounds of rice or the beans, you know, but again, those are things that for those that really do have large families need to think about uh, because Cape has a, about a three day supply of food. If you'll notice the stores are stocked every day Somewhere, semis coming in, loading. What if they can't get here? Um, so that's something that we, we need to plan on, plan for. Gotcha. Um, so you were talking about this class. Um, mm -hmm. is, is there a cost to go through the CERT No, there training? is no class, uh, no cost to the, to the participants. 
Uh, we have, we're very fortunate to have a Homeland Security grant that pays for the instructor's salary and then the supplies that we use. And we use a lot of supplies because it's a basically a hands-on class. Okay. We talk about the lecture, how to do things, and then we do them. Uh, I actually use a fire extinguisher putting out a real fire. Wow, that's so, cool. <laughs> yeah, and uh, disaster first aid, we how to bandage. One of the things, our new curriculum is how to use a tourniquet. Okay. Uh, so because unfortunately our service people have had to go to that, and now we have experience in uh, everyday use can save lives with tourniquets. Uh, hopefully we never use them, but, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the training is there. And that's what it is all about, is home preparedness is just training, knowing what to do, when to do it, and how to do it safely for you and everyone else. Um, so what's one of the things that you would say that people don't always think of, or what, what's the number one thing that you really want to communicate with families? Um, Sit down, make a plan of how to, in case there is a fire, and cooking fires is the number one. Uh, how to evacuate the house, where to go, where to meet the family, not just outside your house, but maybe at the end of the block or you know, a little farther away from your home. Um, that is make a plan, practice that plan, and then build a kit. Those things are things that I use a bucket, backpacks. Every child wants a new backpack every school year. So take that old one, give the, you know, make a pack out of it. Um, it's just whatever that you need to take care of yourself and your family. Um, Jim, will you tell me what those dates are again yes. um, and, and how folks can sign up for that? Okay. Well, phone number 573-339-6799 is the CERT office. Uh, we can do the March 4th, 11th, 18th, 25th. We'll do April 1st. We'll skip April 8th because of the eclipse, and then we'll finish with an exercise. We do an exercise at the end to complete all the class on April the 11th. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at and going from there. Awesome. Well, thank you so much okay. for, for being here today and, and sharing those things. And I'll make sure that I have a plan. I know my husband has a backpack ready for us to go yes. if anything happens. So we're already kind of ahead of that, um, but we'll make sure we have that plan.